Hi family and good afternoon. I am sitting outside um, for just a moment waiting on one of my mentees and I thought that I would just um, share a word of encouragement with y'all. So one of the things that keeps coming up for me in this season is about timing and alignment. And so often when we're putting in work with our businesses or with our family and with our relationships and just about anything, we can easily get discouraged if we don't feel like things are happening in the time that we think that they should. And what I've noticed is I've had thoughts about what time certain things should happen and how it should happen, how quickly, how slowly, whatever. And then I've had times where the alignment in my life is just so outrageous that things just, they, it, it just is so seamless and it just lines up so quickly. And so what I'm learning and I'm beginning to like lean into is that the timing and the alignment are key. You know, something that you may have toiled over for many, many years could take you a day to get traction on right but we tend to think no no I gotta keep you know grinding it out and doing this and doing that and I'm not saying that you don't work and put in work and, and lay the foundation for things you absolutely do but I also want us to to get back into and especially as a woman right let's talk about this we are we don't operate well when we're in spaces where we have to force things all the time we operate well when we are in the flow, when we are in our intuition and just like going with the flow. Not that we don't have plans or um, schedules or anything like that, but our energy is in the flow. We're not fighting against things. We're not raging against things to make things happen. We're in the flow. That to me kind of equals um, a level of alignment. And the ease that comes along with that um, is just amazing. And I think that that is a part of where our feminine power lies, is in the flow and in the alignment rather than the force and the push of things. And so I just want you to be encouraged that if you've been fighting for something and feeling like, you know, I've done everything, I've created these steps and I've done this, 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 that, and it's not moving, um, Consider that the time and the alignment may just not be present right now. And that when the time is right, you'll have to trust that things will line up for you. And things will move at the pace that the Most High has created for them to move for you. And it won't be too soon. And it won't be too late. Right? I mean, there's so many things that this could apply to. Especially as a mom. You could be trying to cultivate certain things in your children. And you feel like, okay, we talked about it. I taught you this, we've been practicing this, yada, yada, yada. We should be there, right? Any parent knows that that is absolutely not how this thing goes, right? When you're learning a new sport, you might say, okay, well, I showed you where the goal is and I showed you, hold on, how to kick the ball or hit the ball or shoot the ball. You should be able to just do it. Well, we all know that that's not true. It takes practice and it takes time and it takes alignment, right? And so the same thing with our lives and our families and our businesses. It's like you just have to trust that the Most High will provide the things that you need when you need it. Some things you need to put in order so that things can flow properly when, that, when the timing and the alignment takes place. But for the most part, being in a in a attitude of control, feeling like you have to have every single aspect of every single thing figured out before you can actually make a move, it's not a, a useful way to use your energy. It's just it's not useful, right? And it doesn't flow with nature. As soon as you put the seed in the ground, it doesn't blossom. And people use that metaphor all the time, and we're like, yeah, 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 yeah. But the reality is, is when we are looking for the results in our life we're not looking at it the way that we look at a seed we're not necessarily understanding like yes I'm going to plant seeds in my children I'm going to plant seeds in my business I'm going to plant seeds in my relationships and they will blossom over time if they are 
properly cared for and watered and nurtured, right? And that's just how nature goes. That's how the Most High intended things to go. And it's just the same with us. So be encouraged. If you are in the in a season where you are just seeing the tip of, of a seed sprout just a little bit and you feel like, oh my gosh, I should have a flower by now. I should have a plant by now. I should be seeing more results. Just be easy and trust and lean into the season and know that the Most High has got you no matter where you are every single step of the way. And as parents, just be encouraged that the seeds that you are diligently planting, they will blossom one day and hopefully you'll get a chance to see them maybe you will not keep planting keep watering keep nourishing it all matters <laughs>